Necron, Doomsite coming in for revenge, and the Moloch moving over. And the Ghost Dark, he's finally unloading the Warriors. Now we're just rolling for the, the movement or running phase as well, because they just to save some time on movement. So they're running through the door, so no difficult terrain there. And they all pile out. Moving on straight to the shooting phase, because everything else is caught up in close combat. There is a big line drawn across both my flyers. The first one, he only rolls one on the penetrating table, and so I somehow survive, but the second one does blow up. But don't worry, he still has his Tesla cannons, and he manages to annihilate it. And so he didn't blow it up, but he glanced at death, but it doesn't make a difference when it's a flyer, whether it blows up in the air or gets wrecked. So to save some time, if you know it's going to get wrecked regardless, you don't have to roll to see if it blows up. Because it crashes all the same. Now you can see, continuing, firing, attacking. The boys look like they're going to succeed against these warriors. The boys don't do too, too much damage, but the power claw comes in and kills the final one. Although there's one left. Now the death copters against the immortals, the immortals do get to hit or we're just putting them first. He only does one more wound. Deathcopters go, cause two wounds, and two failed saves. Just a little unlucky there, but he does fail morale, so he do will not get those guys back through animation, but he does make it away at least. He, I think, he will need double ones to regroup. And the Deathcopters consolidate. Now for the fight you've all been waiting for, in that ice blood river pond thing. The immortals versus the storm boys. They managed to kill one storm boy, and again with all the wounds I cause, there's two now still in ice blood, and so rolling, oh, two failed, but three plus, he makes all of them. But my power claw finally decides to do his job and causes three wounds. There's only one immortal left, and pile in, they will get up nice and close. Now there's still some warriors fighting, but they do only one gets back up. And only and none of the immortals get back up. And so finally the boys are through attrition and that power claw. Once you it's hard to keep the power claw alive through shooting, but once you're up close um, in combat you can you can kill a lot of boys without a power claw. Unless you start getting precision strikes with other characters. They're probably just going to single them out with the challenge anyways. So turn four orcs. We're just running towards objectives. And those ludos are just running away from the monolith. And they're going to be shooting at the flyer this turn. So might as well move. Have some fun with the new rules. Big mech jumps on top of his wrecked battle wagon. Tries to repair. Oh wait, that's a dangerous train roll. And he's, he's just having a blast. And the knob splits off and just runs somewhere. Maybe the contestant objective. Ludos shoot at the... Doom Scythe, make lots of good hits, three glances, he tries to jink, doesn't make any of them, and he's done. And his wreckage scatters onto no one. And so Death Coppers want to shoot at something, but they want to shoot at the, at the Doom Scythe, but they're resort to kill the last immortals. And now back to the combat, trying to kill this immortal. The immortal does kill, even with a reroll, kills another Storm Boy. But we're just going to skip right to the power claw. One hit, one wound, and he is gone. Very resilient immortals there, though. It's, so it, it with this random terrain, sometimes it can make you extremely tough. Sometimes it makes you want to get the heck out of there. But uh, it's fun, fun times for all. Continuing on with the immortals f firing. I skip to the power claw, but then I end up not being able to kill him. So I roll... For all my boys, and I barely, barely killed that last warrior. He was pretty resilient as well. And then consolidating, we're going back towards the other objective. So end of turn four. Mortals are all gone completely. The warriors have got out of that ghost arc, and they're trying to run and claim at least that objective. Those boys have regrouped, but it might take a turn or two. I'm not sure if they will be able to get to that objective or not before the turn ends. I'm going to just have one more turn. But I do have one objective right now. So does Necrons, and that 
Monolith is still there, and he's still somewhat of a threat, but the Ludas are kind of moving up to more of a advantageous position. Maybe do some more with themselves, because they haven't done much all game. Turn 5, Necrons. Immortals move up to secure their objective a lot more... better? Basically, I, well, I'm going to have a very, very hard time shooting them off of it. And... Ghost Ark. I'm going to remember the name of those guys. I keep on wanting to say Command Barge, like Jabba the Hutt Barge. But they shoot to cause a few wounds on the Storm Boys. And my knob realizes that, hey, look, there's a window. And there's a lot of Goss Rifles shooting at me. So I have six wounds, five plus save for being in the crater. <gasps> I almost make it, actually. <laughs> but two wounds is enough to kill the knob. Monolith, Monty, shooting, does, only does one wound, and I make my four plus cover because he's shooting through the ruins. Nice, beautiful landscape. <laughs> Epic hang shake time. Good game, buddy. Good game. I, I was fun, Dan. I, pre I think that was the most crazy game that we've had so far. It was entertaining. Out of our three. It was just, everything kind of just went bad for the Necrons last turn. Yeah. It was, you were holding up pretty strong and I was worried. Not immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Those immortals were immortal. Almost. Almost.